Good day. Today we will be discussing creating inclusive spaces for children. Learning spaces should allow everyone to participate on an equal basis. Children should feel welcomed, valued and included despite their differences. Children should not be afraid to be their true selves, to express an idea or express themselves for fear of being judged or humiliated. Inclusive spaces are important for creating positive learning experiences. If a student is humiliated, treated unfairly or dismissed through bias or judgment, the brain interprets this as a threat, which leads to a fight or flight response. This is not an ideal learning condition. Psychological safety is a critical path for inclusion because establishing trust is essential. Empathy has strong correlations with psychological safety. Consistent and genuine engagement and empathy will improve culture, bring transformation and allow safe spaces for all. Here are some valuable tips. One, practice empathy by placing yourselves in another person's shoes. Young people need adults who can help them understand their truth whilst guiding them to understand the truth of others. Two, build your vocabulary in instances of social justice and gender pronouns. This allows you to solve problems together rather than running away from the topic. Three, acceptance and understanding. For example, you should begin the practice of asking students to introduce themselves along their gender pronouns in order to be inclusive. When advising students, remind them that it's okay to make mistakes, but they, they should apologize and correct themselves. Remember, for every slur that goes unchecked, a student becomes more and more emotionally scarred. Four, engage. Actively build strong relationships with your students and foster strong supportive relationships among students. Value different perspectives and encourage children to share their stories. Practice active listening. Encourage this amongst children. Do not use labels, bias. Do not judge or dismiss somebody's perspective. Six, develop an open mindset. Be open to feedback. Humility is important as no one person will get it right all the time. Acknowledge that we will make mistakes but the most important thing is to be able to learn from each other. Teach and practice a growth mindset. Seven, ask questions to try and seek understanding. Curiosity is good. Eight, establish ground rules for inclusive spaces. So talk to each other with respect, practice empathy and encourage kindness. Nine, create a shared identity or value based on trust. For example, in this classroom, we choose to reject stereotypes because they lead to prejudiced behavior. They are unfair and harmful. And lastly, nip negativity in the bud. We should correct the use of slurs and hurtful language, but we should also guide children to understand why these words are harmful. Remember, many children develop a normalized perspective through learned behavior and exposure to external messaging. It takes courage, humility, and compassion to seek forgiveness. A true apology recognizes harm and humbly asks for forgiveness, focusing on the harm with a goal to avoid making the mistake again and a commitment to rebuilding trust.